What's up? So I feel like we haven't gone on a makeup adventure in like a little bit. Like I feel like I used to do them a lot and then I kind of stopped and I kind of want to start them again because I love makeup adventures. It's like so fun because we both get to go to Ulta or CVS or Walgreens together. So um, today we're going to be going to Ulta because I just got the Ulta magazine and I know a lot of you were requesting like for me to do like a like eyeshadow hunt from the drugstore, so like affordable eyeshadow palettes. So I'm like, yeah, let's do that today. I'm not gonna be testing them today, but I'm gonna go on the hunt for them, and yeah. And then we'll be testing them out. Oh yeah, that hair flip. Um, and then we'll be testing them out in like an upcoming vlog. So yeah, the Ultra Magazine reminded me to, um, you know, go shopping there. <laughs> I wonder why they send it. <laughs> so let's do this. Oh, actually, I wanna show you my shoes and my outfit first. My mirror is extremely dirty, ignore that. Like my hair drips on it, uh, like when I'm, my hair is wet, you know what I mean? But my shirt is from uh, H&M, my belt is from Brandy Melville, my pants are from Revolve Clothing, and then my shoes are Puma. But I bought silver with shoes and then I always wear the black ones, like those are the most common ones that I wear actually. Probably like one of my most worn shoes. So I was like, wait, let me just wear two because I know Selena Gomez, like she started the trend of wearing like two shoes, but they're not the same color or they're not the same style. Um, so hey, I'm doing it today. And they're actually, it's kind of fun, I like it. So squeaky. Um, anywho, let's go to Ulta. And then I just noticed that the Gigi and Maybelline, like I was gonna get it honestly, but this palette is like, how much is it? I thought it was like, I think it was like $39.99. I thought that was expensive for these like little tiny pans. It just didn't seem like something I'd use, but like honestly it's Gigi, so I might, I might cave in. Anywho, let me know what you think about this. Do you want me to do a review on the Gigi X Maybelline line? Let me know. So we're now in Ulta. We have Ellie Girl right here, which I have been really wanting to try out these like little kind of quaddy shadows. I know it's not like a, like a palette palette, but hey, there's still like four shadows in here. I feel like this looks so stunning. I really like this color, and I also kind of like this one. Oh wait, these are the same ones. Well, no wonder I like them both. Uh, what's this one? This one looks pretty too. <gasps> Ooh, which one do I like more? I think I'm gonna go for the first one I picked up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go for the first one I picked up. I like the shimmer shade in here, and it's $5.99. So I feel like this is a nice, like, kind of quaddy palette. Okay, then for a real, real, real palette. It's still pretty small, but it's a palette. Then these palettes from uh, CoverGirl intrigue me a lot. Oh no, I'm dropping things, whoopsie. This is really pretty. It's like kind of like a goldy bronze one, but they're all shimmer, which I don't like. I like one, a lot of them are matte because I don't, I feel like I like shimmer, but not too much. That's like a nice rose gold. Hmm, maybe, I don't feel like they have like the best selection of those, but this looks really interesting. Okay, so these are from uh, Revolution. Revolution has great shadows, I think, cause I love their like powder products. They're great, I have their highlighters and they're so bomb, and their lipsticks are actually really nice too. Uh, I think they have good products. Um, this is pretty, it's kind of like a neutral palette, a little bit of everything. There's some mattes and some shimmers. I was like, almost drop it. Um, this is seven bucks for a nice, solid palette. I'm deciding which one I want to get. I kind of like this one, but I also kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna go for this one because it's a little more like rose gold. Oh no, I feel like, whoa, okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. This is really pretty, it's like neutral. Um, there's some transition shades, and there's some nice, cool like rose golds. And then I want to get something that's super warm toned. Like that is like my obsession. And um, yeah, I'm, let's let's go on the hunt. I'm looking at NYX right now. Uh, these are extremely warm tone palettes. <laughs> Trying to think. Okay, we have Maybelline. They have these palettes right here, but whoa, did I just like whoa? Yeah. Sorry, light. Um, but these don't really look intriguing to me. I've heard really bad things about it, so I think I'm gonna pass. Um, oh, is this like the Gigi like line right here? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. It just looks super sold out, so I'd expect that, but no, I don't know. Um, wait, there's some over here. Okay, there's no eyeshadow palettes over here, though. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, so we looked at LA Girl. Revolution, we already looked at. But maybe they have another warm tone palette. Like, they have these, like, Kylie meets Too Faced palettes, is what I call them. Um, they're not super warm tone that I can tell from this little, like, the even bobber right here. Ooh, wait, ooh, okay, okay, okay. We have some uh, Rimmel. Mm, those aren't super warm toned either. So I feel like we have a cool tone, we have a rose gold tone, and we need like a warm tone. Okay, so we have the Ulta brand itself, like Ulta Beauty. Let's see this palette. This palette looks really pretty. It's like an all matte kind of warm tone palette. Let's just swatch one. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. 
Whoa, that is so creamy. Okay, that's nice. That's a good option. It's not super warm tone though. I do know something though. I kind of consider this drugstore Morphe. It's not crazy, but it's affordable. You know what I mean? <gasps> this is like so warm tone and so pretty. Look at that color. <gasps> it's so creamy. I am gonna get this one. Actually, it's 12 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal for nine shadows from Morphe. <gasps> we have Jaclyn Hill, um, but I'm gonna get this. This is super pretty. Okay, so we have three palettes. So we have these three right here. I'm really excited. I think we have a good variety. It's always the decision. Do I want to get anything else here? I do, but like, I don't need anything else. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna get these and check out. I literally just set you right there. Okay, now I'm in my favorite store that sells this brand called Kai. I'm gonna get this perfume right here. It smells so good. I have the body glow and I'm gonna get the perfume to match it. Okay, so it's normally $82 at the store. But no, I can get it for $53 on Amazon. So I'm gonna do that. I always feel bad to support like Amazon instead of like a local store. But like, I like to save money. So, you know, it's okay. <laughs> My feet, <laughs> the Mitch match. So back from all of that jazz, I'm so excited about the perfume that I found it for so much cheaper. And I'm really excited about these eyeshadow palettes. So I have a question for you. I want you guys to vote in the comments down below. Which eyeshadow palette do you want me to do a separate review on? Or how about this, I could just do separate reviews on all of them. Let me know what you think in the comments. But which one do you want to see first? Do you want to see the Morphe Warm Tone Palette? That is $12. I'm not going to swatch it yet. The Revolution Rose Gold Palette, which is $7. Or this LA Girl Little Quaddy Palette for $5.99. Which one do you want to see first? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but anywho, I think I'm probably gonna let you go. I just went to the gym. Uh, that's why I'm extremely sweaty, as you can see. So thank you so much for watching, and bye!